Hey guys, my name is Sudeshna and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different and that's because I'm going to be trying out some viral hacks. And by the way, if I look very tired, that's because I just came back home from shooting this video. I'm going to be trying out some viral hacks from the YouTube channel called 5 Minutes Craft. 5 Minutes Crafts or something like that and they do a lot of like viral content uh, you know like some everyday hacks, some photo hacks, video hacks and basically a lot of hacks that actually just go viral on Instagram and I just really wanted to try it out because honestly who wouldn't like to go viral am I right? So here I've listed down a few of the photo special effect hacks that they showed in one of their videos and I actually went out today and tried all of them that's why I look so damn tired oh my god it was not easy at all I don't know how they do it but yeah anyway I'm not gonna say much let's just get started with this video and you guys will see how the pictures turned out okay guys so the first hack that I wanted to try is this beautiful like flower shot you just need two things you need an umbrella and some flowers and what you do is you fill the inside of the umbrella with some flowers by the time you flip it up it's gonna look like it's raining flowers and it gives the most beautiful shot and I just think that's the most spring appropriate shot ever so I really wanted to do it I would say that this one is actually a pretty good hack you can get a really beautiful picture out of it as you can see like I went out and I tried to do it the only problem the main issue was that I didn't really have a lot of flowers and even though like I was surrounded with a lot of trees with a lot of flowers but I didn't really have the heart to pluck out the flowers I should have bought some flowers beforehand but next time I'm gonna do it I'm gonna buy some flowers I'm gonna pick out all the petals and I'm gonna do this shot because I want a picture like this for my Instagram I think the first two shots I did do it with some flowers but obviously they weren't enough so in the next shot I actually decided to do it with some dried leaves and uh, yeah, I think the shot has come out quite decent. I would say this one is a huge success. The only problem was that I didn't have enough flowers to take the shot to make it look extremely pretty. But I'm going to do that next time. So the second shot that we have here, I call it like the bird's eye view shot. So basically it looks like someone is looking at you from the ground level and you're kind of stepping on them. Oh my god. This was the first shot that we shot today and it was so 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 frustrating guys. It is so hard to get a shot exactly like how they showed it in the video. I honestly don't know how they did it or if they even did it that way because it was almost next to impossible to take a shot like that. I don't know, it was just not happening. I was literally doing everything the way they showed it in the video. I was standing on a platform exactly like how they showed in the video but still it was so hard to get a shot of my whole body along with my like shoe. It was just not happening. I took like probably like 50 shots and uh, yeah these are the final shots that I got. I wouldn't say that they are awesome. Uh, I mean I think after like one hour we got this shot and it's still not as good as the one that they showed. I wouldn't really recommend this shot. A thumbs down for me for the second one because it was not easy to get at all. So the third shot that we have here is called a reflection shot and for this you will need two phones. One phone to take the picture from and the other phone to just uh, keep it right under the lens so that the you know the top screen part of the phone can actually give you a reflection of yourself when you're standing in front of the camera you obviously cannot take this picture alone you will need another friend to take this picture for you you kind of will have to spend a lot of time to experiment with the angles to see which angle works one tip to remember for this is to stand in a higher platform like here I was standing on a slanted slope and that really helped and another thing is that you kind of have to keep tilting the camera that you've kept horizontally to see which angle works best because if you just keep it straight like this you might not be able to see your reflection so you might have to tilt it up or down. I couldn't get a full 100% reflection of myself. I think I only got like half a body and then the rest of my body was getting blurred out but I kind of like that effect. It just kind of gave like a very watery effect like I was actually standing in front of water or something that was giving the reflection. The pictures came out fine but I'm not like too excited about it. 
The next shot that I have is this panoramic shot. So this shot I've been seeing a lot in Instagram and I think it's so much fun. But it's not as easy as it looks to recreate. You kind of have to like get a lot of shots in to see whether you're getting the timing right or not. I think almost all phone has like a panorama mode and all you have to do is just turn it on. So you stand at one point, you know, do your pose and once your friend kind of shifts the camera away from you, you circle around them and just come and stand in another spot. So this is like all about the timing. So you and your friend have to have really good coordination. You have to tell your friend to go slow so that you can take the whole round and come and pose again. A little bit tricky, but I think the end result came out quite cute. I think it was nice. Okay, next we have my most favorite shot. I absolutely love how this picture turned out. So I call it the book page shot. Honestly, these don't have names. So I'm just giving them weird names. So basically what you do is you just take a book, open it up and like open it up in the center, in the middle page of the book, fold the paper so that you get a nice little hole and then you're supposed to take a picture of yourself through the hole. Again, this is one of those shots that you need a friend to take of you. Very, very easy to recreate. I honestly thought in the beginning it's going to be very tricky. Very, very happy with how this turned out. I am definitely going to post this picture on my Instagram because I love how it turned out. So the inspiration that I got from, I think it's from like a Indian YouTuber channel. Like this one is not from the 5 minute craft channel it's from some other channel now the biggest mistake that i did was taking a small book i didn't realize that in the video they had used a bigger book so obviously if you use a bigger book even the hole will be bigger so they could actually fit the whole person in the hole but i couldn't do that because my book was so small so i could only do like half of myself so i just decided to do a sitting shot you know and i really love how it turned out you can see like my face and my body through the hole would highly highly recommend this picture was definitely my favorite and that was the last picture that we tried today so we tried five different hacks and in conclusion i would like to say that it is not as easy as they make it look it's not easy guys it's not <laughs> so guys that brings me to the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i honestly had so much fun doing this video and i would love to make more of these they also have like a few video hacks so if you guys would like me to continue these series and make more like trying out different viral hacks video let me know i would like to try the video ones next because i think those should be really fun and hopefully those will be better than the picture ones hope this was fun to watch please give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys liked it and also leave a comment down below telling me which picture was your favorite if you guys liked anything that i recreated and yeah subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already and hit that bell notification so that you guys are notified every single time I upload a new video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!